breaking news tonight. A local principal accused of sex crimes against a student is dead. Good evening. I'm Angela Taylor. And I'm Marius Payton. Goldsboro Police started its investigation into Principal Richard Knight last Thursday after a student claimed to have sexual contact with Knight at the school, Dillard Academy. CBS 17's Michael Highland in Goldsboro tonight. And Michael, there's a meeting coming up tonight where they were actually supposed to talk about Knight's future with the school district. That's right, that'll be happening in about an hour. But I also talked to some families as they came here this afternoon, just as we learned about what happened to the principal. And those families, they're struggling to understand how all of this possibly could have happened. Concern. They worried about the allegations the former principal had sexually assaulted a student here. Goldsboro police say they got a call Thursday. They found out about a sexual relationship between a 12 year old girl and the principal at the school, Richard Knight. I talked to Melody Binford as she stopped by to pick up her grandson at the school Monday. I'm just concerned for his safety, but other than that, you know, Diller Academy has been a pretty good school. Goldsboro police searched for Knight, but couldn't find him. Orange County Sheriff's deputies say they discovered his body Friday afternoon in a wooded area where he had apparently killed himself. School administrators say about 20 parents came here Monday morning for a meeting to learn more about what happened and ask questions. Many of them are getting questions from their kids about what's happening. Is this a conversation you all have to have at home at some point about what's going on? Yes, it is. How do you have that conversation? Well, um, my grandson, he knows a little bit about it, so we've talked about it a little bit already. I'm sure that's very difficult to talk to him about. Yeah, it is. He's only eight. The school's board of directors plan to meet Monday night to discuss the situation. I also checked with Goldsboro police to ask them whether they believe there are any other additional victims in this case, and they would not comment on that. Coming up new at 6, investigative reporter Richard Essex takes a closer look at what goes into background checks for educators and how extensive the background checks were for the principal here at this school. Live in Goldsboro, Michael Hyland, CBS 17 News.